Good morning, my friends. Today has finally come. We are going to go pick up that smaller boat, canoe, or kayak that I've been talking about for about two years. I wanted to get a smaller boat, canoe, kayak. I'm not telling you what I'm picking up until later. Um, I just can't get my boat out everywhere. You know that we had that disaster with a little aluminum boat that ended up getting a tree falling through it. So that was that was junk. Well, now today we're going to go pick up something. We're getting it from Greg. Um, you all know Greg, so I might go right to the lake right afterwards, and I'll show it to you there. All right, we'll see you there. picked up it is a old town 16 foot discovery canoe it needs a good cleaning it looks like I'll have to replace a board here this board here looks okay but it looks like I'll have to put one in right here I do have the board and I'll just cut and make that up at work so with that, let's try to get out there and see what this thing does. It's been probably about 20 years since I've been in a canoe. So I'll put the GoPro on in case of something major happens. Hopefully not. All right, we'll see you on the water. Well, here we are. We are out. Away from the boat ramp. And we are out here. I think I'm just going to paddle around for a little while and kind of get the feel of it. So, maybe we'll do a little bit of fishing, we'll see. I'll turn you around so you guys can see what I can see. Beautiful morning. Got somebody out in front of us, I'm not sure if you guys can pick that up or not, but out there swimming the lake. When I drove in, I saw them up at the beach. So they're swimming the whole length of the lake. I am not sure how long the lake is. If I can find it, I'll leave it somewhere in through here. But you definitely can see some autumn colors already, even though it's September. Definitely got some color. I don't know what that's going to do for our tourism this year because I think everybody kind of figures October we could have a lot of color in, in September the way it's coming already. Now I have fished this body of water before in my older boat that I had and they, this is a lake called Lake Matawa this body of water is mostly a um, little bit of everything there's bass in here there's the sunfish I think I fished off the bank here whoops a couple years ago and I got you guys those I think it was the bluegill summertime bluegill video and I think I got some underwater footage of some stuff swimming around down here also but they do stock this heavily for trout in the spring and the fall so we'll have to be back here probably in a little while and we'll see what we can get some trout temperatures lately have been a little bit on the cooler side but nothing unseasonal I guess but 
I got a long sleeve shirt on today, so it's a little chilly this morning when I get up. But so, all right, enough of me talking. Let's get across. All right, let's do a little bit of fishing. I will say one thing, other than the car noise, it is very, very peaceful. Well, the sun has gone and come out. I had to take off the sweatshirt. And I decided to go ahead and throw a little bit of a night crawler out there and see if we can at least christen the boat and get the first fish in it since I've owned it. I have been in this boat before and I have gotten fish in this boat before, but now I'm that I'm the new owner. Let's go ahead and see if we can get one. Definitely have to get used to it. It's definitely not like the boat and a lot more learning control in the boat and stuff like that. Keep on wanting to look down and look for the fish, the fish finder. That's not here. It's almost like getting back to the basics. In other words, you have to find the fish. Not that you didn't have to before, but got a fish finder on there. It certainly makes it a little bit easier. And be able to touch the pedal and be able to move the boat. Now you gotta stop fishing and grab the paddle. But we'll get used to it. I'm really looking forward to is being able to get out in some of those really remote ponds that I've never put a boat into before. There's a couple right now that i looking very much forward to putting a boat in there. I've never put a boat in there. I fished off the bank and there's actually one that I've never fished ever and it's supposedly a really good lake but it requires a canoe or a kayak or a really small boat. But what I heard, I was going to go there this morning, but what I heard is the water is really, really low, even for the canoers and the kayakers, I guess, so we'll have to try that one out maybe in the spring or if we get some rain. We are supposed to get some rain on, actually this evening, actually, it's supposed to rain for a couple days. We definitely need the rain. might be one of the most talkative videos I've ever made while by fishing. So I thought I'd stop yammering and see if we can get some fish. We got a fish. Let's 
first fish. Light rods working out great. Oh, crap. Look at the size of this bluegill. That is a good size bluegill. All right, all set. There's one good thing I like about the canoe. I like all the things so far, but when you need to wash your hands, the water's right there. That's for sure. The bolt control would probably, so far to what I'm seeing, is probably not my favorite. Because it really does take away from your fishing. I do have an anchor, I could probably try that, but never been much of an anchor guy. Kind of float around and On the shorelines. Maybe I'll have to become an anchor guy. Okay, let's try this new spot. This lake does, I've never caught one, but this lake does have smallmouth in it. Um, and we're heading in that direction, so to where I was told they are at. Who knows? Just nice to be out. Definitely a very relaxing fishing. Don't do a lot of this style of fishing, not much. I usually get in the boat and get on the trolling motor and go right down the bank. I'm sure when I get more used to being how much I can move and I will get a little bit more into the bassy waters where I can get out there and throw some lures and some top waters and stuff. Like I said, this is just a maiden voyage. Get out there, see if we can catch some fish, and we have caught one so far. Fish on. Another big, big bluegill. You know, I have a net. I just got it, just for this. Oop, there you go. Just for this, just to have it in the canoe. So didn't have to use the really long one and have to worry about it getting tangled up. But look at the size of this bluegill. Definitely a good day for bluegill. Let's get him back in the water. There he goes. Well, we've definitely gotten some fish in the canoe today. So let's get a couple more and, and we'll call it a day. It's getting a little warm. All right, well, I think with that, we're gonna start working our way back. We've pretty much gone all the way around the lake now. So, you 
you guys. Have a great rest of your weekend, and I'll see you next time.